This video was created by Vinylic Puma of Vinylic Puma Gaming. Warning, vulgarity awaits. What's going on guys? This is Vinylic Puma and today I'm going to be showing you how to make modded weapons for the PC version of Borderlands the pre-sequel and to a bit of a lesser extent Borderlands 2. Um, and again, I'm just going to repeat, this only works for the PC version. If you play on another platform, you're shit out of luck. So essentially, uh, mainly I'm going to be going over the software you need, the risks associated with using that software. I'm going to show you how to um, input codes that you find online from like random websites uh, into Gibd to get them to show up on your characters in game. I'm also going to be showing you how to make modded weapons, uh, basically just kind of the basics. Uh, and that'll be pretty much that. So Let's go ahead and get started. Now, you're going to need the Gibd save editor, which I've got here. This is revision 39. If you're watching this far in the future or something, um, you're going to need the latest version of Gibd save editor. Um, and that's just it. Uh, now, the only risk of using the software is you have the potential to overwrite your saves. Uh, just back up your saves and don't fuck up. Um, it's not really that hard. Uh, especially if you don't have a lot of saves. If you do have a lot of saves, uh, just back up all your saves. You'll be okay in case you were to ever overwrite one. Now, the other piece of software we need to talk about, and this one will probably cause the most confusion, and if you have a question, uh, just ask me in the comments. You're going to need Cheat Engine, and you're going to need Technojacker's Cheat Table for Borderlands the pre-sequel. Now, the thing about Cheat Engine is what this we're going to be using this for is it's essentially going to allow you to get the guns to load up in game. Uh, basically, when you start load a game of Borderlands the pre-sequel, it checks your character's inventory to see if there are guns that shouldn't be there or they're illegitimate uh, weapons. And because we're going to be making some illegitimate weapons. Now... The only risk with this program is if you were to have Cheat Engine running for Borderlands the pre-sequel, Borderlands 2, then you quit Borderlands 2 or the Borderlands game and then go play like something like Left 4 Dead, Counter-Strike, uh, Insurgency, I think, uh, Team Fortress, games that have Valve's VAC or Ant Valve anti-cheat system in them, um, you risk a chance of getting VAC banned. Uh, so don't do that. Make sure um, with Borderlands the pre-sequel and Borderlands 2, you're going to be okay. They aren't VAC enforced, um, but source games are. So don't make sure this is shut down when you go to play another game. If you're really paranoid, just restart your computer. But anyway, with all of the disclaimers and all of that crap out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and show you how all this works. So I'm going to go ahead... I'll open up a character here, and this is like a level 20 Handsome Jack that I have named uh, Haxer Jack here. And basically, we're going to show you how this works. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to, if you're finding like codes for Borderlands the pre-sequel or Borderlands 2 online, how to get them in your game. Uh, so I've got a big uh, cheat sheet here of some weapons that I've made with some cool names. I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to import the Jericho. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control C, which is going to basically copy it. And then I'm going to hit Paste Code. And what that does is that puts that item uh, in my inventory. Now you'll see here it's level 70. We're going to obviously have to lower that because my character is level 20. And those of you familiar with Gibd, uh, you can send, you can either do this manually by typing 21 under manufacturer grade and um, game stage, or you can just hit sync all. And I'm just going to hit sync all. Uh, now, again, if you want to see that, uh, this is for if you want to import certain weapons. Uh, I'll do this here, I think, with the Stinger, which is another gun I've made previously. And uh, you just, again, you hit Control c hit Paste Code, and there it is. Boom. And those are going to be there. And then, essentially, if you wanted those on your character, uh, you actually, I should probably fix the level. You should sit, you just save. Make sure you're saving in the right spot. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Looks like I am. And you hit save, 
and you're good. Now, this stuff is on your character. Now, let's say you want to make a modded weapon. So, I'll go ahead and I'll do that. Now, I want to make a I want to make a Gatling gun that basically fires Mongol projectiles and has a Vladoff assault rifle skin. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. What you're going to do, duplicate this. You're going to want to go in here. Actually, no. Skip that step. You're going to want to do this. Take the barrel value here. You're going to copy that. You're going to paste that here. And you're going to see that show up. Now what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go to the Mongol. Hit copy. Paste under balance. And then you're going to want to do it again for the barrel value. And you're going to want to put that there. And that's going to essentially, what that essentially is going to do is when you have your boss Gatling gun, it's going to fire Mongol projectiles. And that is going to be pretty cool. Now, what maybe you want to make it like a Vladoff kind of a skin, uh, that's what this is for. So we have this Vladoff assault rifle here. I'm just going to take the skin that is here and just paste it on. Actually, you know what? I'll do something a little more what I think would look kind of cooler more aesthetically interesting and I'll paste this I'll copy this I should say and we'll paste this right here so essentially what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to have a Jacobs assault rifle that has a Vladoff skin on it with um, that fires Mongol projectiles and it's going to be pretty cool so anyway what we'll do we'll go ahead we'll save And we're good. And you can close Gibd. Now, at this point, what you want to do is you're going to go to Cheat Engine, provided you've got Technojacker script uh, for uh, Borderlands the pre-sequel, which you're going to need. Links it will be in the description. You're going to want to hit Enabled and make sure Borderlands is on. I should mention that. You can go to Scripts, then go to Gun Deletion Check Bypass, item deletion check bypass and turn both of those on now what that essentially did is it bypasses the sanity check on weapons when the uh, weapons load up so you can pretty much load any weapon up and you can get really crazy and make some really overpowered stuff um, now at this point what we're going to do this is pretty much all you have to do so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to jump cut to some borderlands the pre-sequel footage and I'll talk to you about the guns. All right, so we're going to go ahead here. We are in Borderlands, the pre-sequel. And I'm going to go show the codes for the weapons that I imported. These are those guns. So this first one was the Stinger, and the second one was the Jericho. Now, you're not going to see um, the actual name of it because I actually haven't figured out how to do that. Um, but if you know, uh, be sure to leave a comment. But as you can see here, this is the Jericho, and it's a cross between a Tor Gamada and I think like just a regular Hyperion shotgun or bullpup. This is a cross between a uh, Cyber Colt, Zarpadon Cyber Colt, and uh, like a doll pistol. Now, here is our boss Gatlin gun we modded. And as you can see here, it's got a different skin, uh, and it's a legendary weapon. And of course, this is what the gun looks like. This is going to be what the gun fires like. And uh, that skin that you saw is unique to this particular assault rifle of green rarity. And I'm just going to go ahead and show here that this does, in fact, work. It is, in fact, firing Mongol projectiles. Uh, now, you are going to see some lag here in the 60 frames per second gameplay, uh, mainly because uh, my computer is recording and... Uh, calculating stuff at the same time and it gets pretty crazy but anyway guys that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video i hope this helped you out uh, please be sure to leave a like take care and i'll see y'all next time